Masters, mistresses, the doctor requires materials in order to maintain the TARDIS and ensure continued functionality. He similarly requires carbon-based comestibles to sustain his own biological functions and existence. Master would never say this, but he requires aid beyond that supplied by this unit in order to acquire these. To aid the Doctor in his various tasks and creations, this can be most effectively achieved via Patreon or Substack subscriptions, or through donations directly to PayPal, or if you desire physical goods in return for your contributions, written accounts of my travels with the Doctor are also available on Amazon. Links are in the description below. Thank you, Masters, Mistresses. Dear YouTube, uh, who am I trying to kid? Let's go back to a more normal opening. Hi, Dr. Alex here, and this video is not really directed at YouTube as I have no illusions about YouTube actually paying any attention to it, much like their refusal to monetize the channel's appeal video that they made me write and produce and then ignored, which is what this entire video is about. It's about YouTube's ludicrous appeal procedure. As you saw from the previous video, YouTube refused to monetize my channel, even though it met all the usual criteria, on grounds that were very poorly specified and very nebulous and unclear. I appealed by submitting a five minute or just two seconds under five minute video, which is how YouTube basically make you make your appeal process. Having done that, within a day they responded saying the appeal was rejected, with no real grounds for the rejection, or indeed any extra evidence as to why they'd rejected or refused the monetization in the first place. Apologies, by the way, if my voice seems a bit off, it's because I'm still suffering from a cold and just getting over from it now, more or less, which is why I've decided to labor on through this video. So I'm gonna flash up the screenshot I took of their rejection notice sent via YouTube Studio interface. Um, as you can see, there's almost no information in here telling you why it's been rejected. In this case, they were saying that there's still there's reused content without saying which channel, which videos, or anything else about which content they su they are accusing you of reusing or accusing me of reusing, which makes it impossible to go and then find those videos and remove them, that, which would apparently be a way of then satisfying their monetization criteria, although they were already satisfied, it appeared. And there are some further nebulous objections thrown up by them as to the actual appeal video itself, which is really stupid and unfair given they don't give you any other criteria for what needs to be in the video in terms of time lengths and stuff like that beyond the fact that it has a five limit time limit. So don't go beyond five minutes, which again would limit what you could put in a video, I'd have thought, but we'll come back to that in a moment. But to summarize the ludicrous nature and the unfairness and the irrationality of their appeal procedure, they at no point provide any actual evidence of wrongdoing at all beyond saying, oh, your channel doesn't meet our criteria for monetization, and then very vaguely saying you've reused a video from some other YouTube channel without ever saying which video that is of the, in my case, 460 plus videos that are out there. So I'm supposed to just randomly delete videos and then resubmit the monetization every 30 days until I've hit the jackpot? Uh, what, when I've got zero videos left? I mean, what exactly? How are you supposed to find the offending video if you don't tell us what the offending video is? The onus is upon you to prove your channel is clean. You're basically guilty until proven innocent. Outside of perhaps China, there aren't many countries that would adhere to such a legal system where you are expected to be guilty until proven innocent. Now granted, YouTube is not a court of law, but if it were one, it would be one fit only for kangaroos, I suspect. Leaving aside the fundamental injustice of having to prove yourself innocent when being accused of guilt by YouTube, as I just mentioned, this is nearly impossible to do since they don't provide any actual evidence of that guilt for you to find the source of it and refute or remove it. Now as you can see from the screenshot, they also throw out new nebulous reasons as to why the appeal was unsuccessful using criteria that they never specified before you had to make the appeal video. In short, they're saying there's not enough material from your channel or on your channel contents in the video you've provided. 
Well, you never said how much to provide, except beyond limiting the video to five minutes long. So how much of my material and content on my channel should I show in the five minute video? I timed the amount of material being shown in the video I submitted and it came out to be just over 25% of the time of the total video. I, a quarter of the video contains pictures of content on my channel or actually shows sections of videos from my channel. Well, I made it to a quarter of it being stuff from my channel. How much does it actually need to be given you never specified how much of the full five minutes, if you went to five minutes, needs to be actual video or stills from your channel? And given you don't have to make a five minute length video, do you have to make a proportion of your video stills and footage from your channel? Or is it a fixed length of time you're expected to have in your video that is stills and footage from your channel? I mean. Just some sort of measure would have been helpful if you're going to reject a video appeal on the grounds of it not containing enough stuff, given you never specified how much stuff it should contain. So, as you can see, their appeals process, as well as their monetization decision-making process, is an utter joke, utterly unfair, utterly opaque, with no transparency whatsoever towards their clients, customers, i.e. the YouTube content providers such as myself. YouTube clearly don't care about customer service or just basic fairness or good practice. As such, I would probably now, considering all we've just said, I would encourage people to make as much use of Rumble as they can and try and promote this to be the primary video sharing platform on the internet. And given YouTube have no desire to share their advertising revenue with the likes of me, I would encourage you to support me if you want to support my videos through subscribing to me via Patreon or Substack or by making direct PayPal donations. As you'll have seen, I've added a little fundraising video to the start of this video, which I'm going to add on to most of my videos, I think, now uh, when I produce new videos, outlining ways in which you can support the channel monetarily and keep us from starving and just uh, ending up on the streets. In the meantime, I'll continue to create the content I want to create. I can only hope it brings some joy and pleasure to those who already subscribe, watch, and enjoy the videos I've made already. And once again, thank you to all my supporters, subscribers, Substack and Patreon supporters, anyone and everyone who has helped me do all the video creations and kept this channel going uh, through thick and thin. And with those final thanks, it just leaves me to say thank you for watching, and until the next video, whatever that may be, take care. <laughs>